Uh, g'day, I'm Dan. I'm going to do a unboxing and a bit of a review on a new alt ads mount that I um, just purchased. Uh, it's a Skywatcher HD AZ mount, which um, I hadn't really seen before and I couldn't really find too much um, information uh, on the unit itself, but I guess I'll find out um, uh, once I unbox it. Um, I'm really into astrophotography, um, um, but I still really do like um, uh, observing as well, which is a bit weird. Um, and I, on second hand, I ended up finding um, a large uh, Brezza. It's a 152mm um, F5 uh, refract refractor. Um, it's got its uh, it's a four element design as well, so it's sort of it's meant to reduce a bit of the chromatic aberration and give a bit more of a flat field from a um, standard sort of uh, acromat. Um, yeah, like I said, I couldn't find too much information, um, but I ended up purchasing purchasing it from uh, Andrews, um, which is a, an Australian store. Uh, if you're not from Australia. Um, and pretty much, uh, I think I had, with postage, it was uh, $749 uh, Australian. Um, and it accepts two telescopes, handles up to uh, 13 kilos, uh, comes with a stainless steel tripod, um, accessory tray, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, pretty much the refracted. Um, it's about 10 kilos, so it's pretty heavy, and I was struggling to try and find a, um, a mount that could sort of handle that weight, which was sort of local in Australia or in stock in Australia, which is quite hard to find. And the, the main reason, yeah, that I got it um, was to pretty much be able to um, do some visual uh, uh, astronomy while, uh, while my main astro rig's um, doing its thing. Um, yeah, and pretty much uh, I just didn't want an equatorial manual or sort of go-to mount. I just wanted it to be pretty um, nice and easy. I don't think this one has slow motion controls, um, but hopefully it's um, pretty smooth and it's not too much of a issue. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll get unboxing so I don't bore you that much. All right, cool. Apologies in advance as well for just echo and the dodgy mic that I've got and just set up in general, but uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is everything it came with. Um, there's no instructions or manual or everything or anything. Not that I need it, but just um, out of curiosity, just the type of mount and sort of where it came from. It kind of looks. I've seen similar ones um, online, so I'm not sure if it was a rebrand um, or something. But just in general, like it does seem very very smooth. Um, yeah, and all the parts seem pretty high quality. So I'll just continue on and uh, put it together. Uh, one thing that I did notice that tripod still has like the EQ knob. Um, so I'm not sure if they sort of reused the, uh, the tripod or whether this was still meant for it, but it looks like it's going to be a, a good fit and you can see where, I guess where the cutout is for that sort of, that sort of knob. But uh, yeah, I'll keep going. Uh, it is a bit oily and stuff, so I have to give it a wipe down. Uh, but you see, with these, to secure the um, telescope, they've got uh, rubber uh, on the ends to protect the um, dovetail. But the smaller ones don't, they're just um, stock standard. I say stock standard like I'm an expert uh, out as mount person. 
And I'm still trying to get used to a microphone because I'm trying to yell at the camera knowing that the uh, microphone's just here. Uh, yeah, so that's it set up. Like, very, very smooth. I tighten uh, the azimuth. Yeah, that's good. And yeah, it all seems all seems pretty smooth. But uh, what I'll do, I'll um, I'll just give it a quick wipe down, um, and yeah, get the get the refractor and uh, get that set up. Yeah. Uh, so this is it with it all uh, set up, and I'm pretty happy with it. Like it's pretty pretty smooth. Like in general. Um, yeah, so this is the, the Brezza fractor, refractor, sorry, I was talking about. Um, so I can give you uh, a bit of size uh, comparison. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much exactly what I was looking for. It's the only thing um, for me is I'm quite tall. Um, so I guess that isn't too bad. This is the full length of the, uh, the, actual, the actual tripod. Um, I'll give you a quick look at uh, great camera skills. Um, yeah, so maybe um, I'd like it possibly a bit higher. I could look at probably um, getting a peer um, or something like that, but like it's very smooth if I'm just going, I guess just pointing it. And wanting it to stay still as well when it gets um, to where I want it to go, so it's not sort of letting go or anything like that. So, I actually, just sold um, my Skywatcher ED80 um, and kind of forgot that had my uh, eyepiece uh, diagonal and and everything like that. So I've ordered a uh, William Optics um, two-inch diagonal to kind of. Um, uh, pair with this and um, this is also a 45 degree uh, one so that's going to be uh, a bit hard anyway but yeah this is uh, Skywatcher HD AZ mount that I've never heard about um, obviously if you have any questions or anything uh, let me know and if you're interested in um, this refractor as well um, to see I guess how it performs as well um let us know like i don't think these are very common either um um the person that i bought it off um uh, had gone back to to sweden and then left it behind but he ended up importing it um so i know i've only really seen it sort of online on uh european sort of telescopes uh stores so um yeah so just uh yeah let us know and uh all right, thanks for hanging around, I guess. Um, yeah, see you possibly in a, another video. Is this any better? Test, 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 test. Skywatcher Alt Alt As Mount. Um, do a uh, quick. Oh, not a quick. Um,